everyone, Feltus45 here, and uh, please excuse the tornado going on outside right now. It's one of the most beautiful days I've ever seen in March, uh, but the winds are crazy, so sorry, sorry if you hear that. Uh, this tutorial is going to be fairly short. Uh, the user on YouTube, Free Challenge Lob, asked me how to make a region where everyone could build, and I was like, well, that's simple, and then I realized it wasn't simple. Uh, so I actually asked Skate9Q, and he said just set the flag to allow. But he also said that if you have any flags you set to deny, uh, you need to set parents and priorities and stuff like that. But if you haven't set uh, build flags anywhere else, uh, you don't need to worry about that. So <laughs> most people have not probably. It's best to avoid setting the build flags if you do not need to, because by default they're set to... Uh, disallow building but um this is how you build a region where everyone can build and uh why you might want to do something like that i've made some bulletin boards here and i want obviously everyone to be able to build here because i don't want to eh, just set owners to these because i would have to add every user on my server to these and that would be really annoying um, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say build allow. They won't be able to build out here, but they will be able to place signs on this. And remember, set TNT to false in the area that it's in because you don't want someone placing TNT on there, redstone right next to it, and blowing up your entire city. So uh, let's get started. You will need world guard, obviously. <laughs> and uh, what I'm doing here is, well, I'll show you. Um, if I select the sign, that won't work because what I'm doing is I'm selecting this region right here. So the people, uh, everyone, will be able to just destroy the wooden blocks in there, but they won't be able to place on top of it because that's technically outside of the region. And if you think, well, a sign is on that region, uh, a sign is actually considered a block. So um, that is not in the region, and here's how we prove it's outside. I'm building this, I'm building this. I can't build any further because that is a block. So instead of defining the board, all we want to do is place some temporary blocks and define the region directly in front of it and not the board. This will allow you to still place signs but not um, destroy the actual bulletin board itself. So if you've got all your TNT flags set to false and all that outside, um, we need to define this region. So I've defined the other one as wall one. So I'm going to do forward slash region define wall two. I'm so creative. And uh, then we need to set the build flag to allow. Region flag wall two build allow. So what I've done is I've done forward slash region flag and then the name of the region you set, whatever it may be, and uh, build, that's the flag we're modifying, and then we're saying allow. You just click enter, and the build flag is set to true then. Now anyone can uh, build anything here. Uh, you might want to do some research on sign locks. I'll include a link to a couple bucket plugins for locking signs because you don't want to place a sign and then uh, someone comes along and knocks them all off and takes them. So uh, there are plugins out there for you to lock your signs. Free Challenge Lob told me about those. So, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Thank you, Free Challenge Lob. And uh, hmm, I'm not sure if there's anything else I should tell you. But again, for like the fifth time in this video, uh, don't let anyone place TNT in here. So set your flags correctly inside there and out there. If you need more help on the flags, uh, check out, I guess, my other World Guard video that I'll show you how to deny uh, TNT. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe if you like, and have fun playing Minecraft.